Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. In this modern day and age where technology keeps on changing as fast as lightning, us innovators also have to keep track upon the ever-changing world of education. Hence, no need to worry since brighter days are coming for us. Last time, we made the first non-programmable calculator. Well, that invention has now been simplified into a single app. Ladies and gentlemen, before we dive right into it, I would like you all to imagine that there is a mathematic test that involves transformation problem in front of you. Here, you're given two choices. First one, you have to traditionally calculate the given question with your own brain power. While, on the other hand, you are able to solve the problem with just a single press of a button. As you can see, from the second choice, no calculators needed, just your own smartphone and a few fingers to get the job done. Modern day problems require modern day solution. Don't you think so? Ladies and gentlemen, what are our objectives? Our objectives are for students and teachers can identify image coordinate under transformation which involves four types which are enlargement, rotation, reflection and also translation quickly and accurate by using a computational method. They will be able to build problem solving skills in regard to transformation by using a suitable tool to guide them. Now, I will show you the conventional method that our education system use until today. Now, I will demonstrate how students calculate transformation using traditional method. Find the coordinate of the image of point M, negative 2, 3, which is here, under a rotation of 90 degree clockwise about the center 0, negative 1 which is here Firstly, draw a straight line from point M, negative 2, 3 to point, ne point 0, negative 1 Next, calculate the length As we all can see here, it is 5.5 cm Next, draw a line perpendicular to this line with the same length Here, it is 0.41, which is your answer. So, what are the problems that we students encounter after using this traditional method? Firstly, there is a high chance of getting the wrong answer because we students cannot check back our answer in transformation, unlike quality equation, for example, where you can check back your answer by using a specific mode in the calculator. Next. The actual transformation formula is inaccessible to students because it's very complicated and also hard to remember. And lastly, the current system doesn't give confidence to students to answer transformation in examination. Now, as you can see here in front of you, this is the Sasser Scientific Calculator application. There are four transformation modes, which are translation, reflection, enlargement, and also rotation. You can click on it to see more. For example, translation, reflection, enlargement, and lastly, rotation. Now, by using the same question that we just solved by using the conventional method, we will use this app to see either it is more reliable and faster than by using the conventional method. The X coordinate of the object was negative 2. So you can just click on it and type. The Y coordinate of the object was 3. The coordinate X of the center was 0. And the Y coordinate of the center was negative 1. And the angle of rotation was 90 degree clockwise. So you just have to type in 90 here. You can now just press calculate and done. 
the answer is 41. So as you can see, it's faster and more re reliable than using the conventional method. So how exactly did we come up with this calculator? We implemented SDLC or System Development Lifecycle. SDLC is quite a common practice in engineering and it involves five phases, planning, analysis, design, coding, and testing. For the first phase, planning. During this phase, we observe a few options for an application inventing software that we are to use. We then later decided to use MIT App Inventor as it is one of the best available. Second phase, analysis. During this phase, we studied a whole bunch of transformation questions, we studied their patterns, and we derived a formula suitable for all types of transformation questions. During this phase also, we drew a rough sketch of the command blocks that we are to use for our app. Third phase, design. During this phase, we designed the basic interface for our app. We had to make sure the interface is user-friendly so that almost anyone can use it. The fourth phase, coding. This phase took a lot of time because we had to choose which formula to use and which formula to dump. So, those chosen formula were then translated into code and implement it into the application inventing software. And the last phase, testing. This phase is especially important because if there is an error or bugs, we can fix it during this phase. This phase also determines whether our product is a success or a failure. So to test out the functionality of our app, we held a pre-test and a post-test on two sample groups of students, namely from classes 3 alpha and 3 delta. So they were given a few transformation questions where they were assigned to do them by using conventional methods. So here are their results on the test. As you can see, that is quite worrying. So, to test the functionality of our app, this time, they were given the same questions, but they were allowed to use our app. And here are their results. As you can see, there is a drastic improvement. And, to make sure that this test was legitimate, they did not know the answer to the question. Instead, they only got to know the answer by using our app. So, to quote my friend Shamil earlier, in this day and age where technology is changing as fast as lightning, we as innovators must not remain stagnant in our pursuit of innovation. So, we aspire to make our app better in a few ways possible. The first one, better interface. We want to improve our interface so that it becomes as user-friendly as possible to allow anyone to use it easily. The second one, better reachability. We want to make our app more reachable to more people. So we hope to release our app in the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store as well as the Huawei App Gallery and maybe work on a desktop version for Windows and Mac. So. Ultimately, we hope that the students can benefit from our app and learn transformation easily, as well as the teachers. We hope that the teachers can teach the students easily with our calculator. So, ultimately, we want to create a generation who can master transformation. Thank you.